Hi. Okay. Welcome back to, uh, I guess, my little video show on uh, traveling. This would be technically episode three of season one. Uh, Kuwait. Kuwait is a uh, interesting place. <laughs> I'll try and keep this short and hit the main points. Um, they really need to know if you're traveling here. Uh, let's start with getting off the plane. Uh, once you get into the airport, if you have Kuwait dinars, yeah, as you're traveling out through, you'll see the visa area. It'll have the post with the numbers. You have to push the button and get a ticket. They'll have a number on it. They'll call your number. You go out. You have to give the one person your passport. They will scan it, make a copy, hand it right back to you. Uh, I think the passport, the visa cost is like three or six KD, which is approximately ten to fifteen dollars, something like that. Um, the uh, if you don't have any Kuwaiti dinars, you have to uh, exchange currency uh, directly across from the visa area is a bank. Simple enough. Then uh, the one tip in the airport I can give you is the baggage handlers are a little aggressive, as they are in most countries. Uh, they are looking for that tip. They, they are pushy. Uh, if you don't want, tell them to help you with your bags. Just be firm. Tell them no and move on. Uh, I believe they don't actually get paid. And they actually have to pay to be there, so if you're feeling charitable, <laughs> let them help you. Give them a, give them a tip. Uh, in general, Kuwait is like a cross between Florida and New Jersey. The weather here is gorgeous, beautiful, except in July and August, June through August, and it's just unbearably hot. Uh, it's also humid as can be. It's, it is the desert, but it's located on the Persian Gulf, so it's incredibly humid. And extremely hot. So the rest of the year, though, it's like now it's November. Um, it's very pleasant. The other part um, is the traffic. You need to be careful driving. It's very simple to drive here. Um, you need to be aware of some very aggressive drivers. Uh, they will get right up behind you, lay on the horn, flick the high beams. So just get out of the way as soon as you can. And they don't care if you can get out of the way. You may have cars ahead of you and on the side of you. They don't care. I call them jerks. We get them in New York as well. Um, but either way. And then you'll find some people going very, very slow. Uh, but you have to deal with it. Traffic for the most part, not that bad. All the signs are in uh, English. So for the, for the most part, you won't have a problem. Uh, I can tell you, I actually did try to find the U.S. Embassy once. That was probably the most difficult thing to find in Kuwait. <laughs> I don't know why. A lot of the signs down there are 100% in Arabic, so it makes it very difficult to find. The food here, you might as well be in the U.S. McDonald's, KFC, and it'll all get delivered if you want. They'll deliver it right to you. Uh, police, there's, there's, I've seen almost no military presence at all, except the only military presence actually would be the United States military, because they have one of the largest bases here. Um, what else is there? There is uh, the economy is doing good. They're doing very well here. The service is incredible. I think for any um, older people uh, that would like to visit a, uh, an Arabic, a uh, Middle Eastern country, this is an easy one. It actually, like I said, it reminds me of Florida. Um, the main reason I say the older crowd is that. There's no alcohol at all. There are some of you who are saying they're going to start introducing alcohol to some hotels. There's no alcohol at all right now. There are no dance clubs. There's no nightclubs. No discotheques. Um, so it's a very boring place. <laughs> there's movie theaters. I saw there was a movie theater. There's small little amusement parks, I guess. Um, other than that, pretty boring. Uh, the food, you can find any restaurant you want, like I said. Um, but a lot of American you know, chilies. Ruby Tuesdays, it's, you know, there's a Iranian, Iranian, Iranian restaurants. There's a Lebanese, it's big. Uh, the one restaurant I have to recommend uh, is actually uh, it's called the uh, Sama Cafe, Sama Lounge, uh, across from the Holiday Inn in Salmia. It is an Electrozon, electronic store. If you get behind it and you go up to the tenth floor, it's really kind of an iconic building. Um, but the 10th floor, top floor, you can see out and it's got an incredible view. And the staff 
is uh, incredibly friendly. The they do smoke the shisha, but it's not overbearing. It's it's, it's and so it's and it's decent. Uh, very interesting smoothies they have, uh, and they have. <laughs> what I thought was great was uh, shwamihita, shwamita. I, I it's a cross. It's like the Mexican fajita, but in the Middle East, uh, I guess uh, shawarma. Maybe I'm saying that. Probably saying that wrong. Uh, it's the meat on the skewer, and then they shave it off. Uh, you find them in New York City. You find them in other places. Um, but it's some kind of mix between there. The name is, again, I, I'm probably saying it wrong. It's shawarmahita or something like that. Uh, very cool. It's called uh, Sama Lounge, I think. Uh, great little place. I, I don't think a lot of people know about it. Um, so, but it's but it's very cool. And uh, the staff is great. Um, uh, usually, it's been a great experience every time I go there. Uh, there's a few other restaurants, uh, depending on how much money you want to spend. There's some very nice restaurants. Uh, for the most part, the service is wonderful here. Uh, there's almost no crime. Uh, I haven't seen any crime yet. I just didn't get out of control. Um, I haven't seen any violence. It's a uh, very mellow, laid-back society. It's it's a it's a cool place though. Um, not, not for the young adventurous people looking to get out there and uh, really experience all sorts of stuff. But for an older crowd looking to take it slow, see some Arabic culture, um, experience some different things, it, it's a good place. It's a great place to visit. I, I can almost assure everyone it is one of the safest places, and that's including the United States. Uh, but this is by far one of those, and you can drive. Uh, the other interesting fact is that I've seen people wear seatbelts. That's the law. But children don't have car seats. Kind of strange. Other than that, uh, I believe everyone actually goes for holidays and weekends in Bahrain and Qatar. Uh, I think alcohol is served in those hotels. So that's why they go there, I guess. Um, but yeah, beautiful country. Um, and I would not hesitate to re recommend it to anyone. But it is a little dull. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. Okay, then. That is the review of Kuwait. Um, oh, as far as uh, the economy goes. The money, whatever it costs you in the U.S., in New York, that's what it costs you here. I can tell you right now. Price of a microwave here is the same as there. Price of a Big Mac here, same as it is there. So that is... Uh, so if you're just looking at the experience in Arabic culture... Just be respectful. Talk slow. I'm from New York. I talk fast. I confuse people all the time. And uh, just be respectful and take your time. Enjoy the sights. Um, there are cabs. It's not really that difficult to get around. So, especially if you stay at the local hotels. And that's Kuwait. Thank you. Oh, and safe travels. <laughs>